<laughs> oh, man. Hi, everyone. Ben, TJ, and sometimes Scotty, the drunken peasants. I'm sometimes why, basically. I have a matter. A question, a query, I'd love to hear you guys chew the fat over. What's our favorite music album? And, uh, it has to do with uh, the YouTube I channel I run, where I deal with a lot of hip young minds. who are yeah. undoubtedly going to be the future one day. What? Okay. <laughs> and I know a lot of their politics tend to lean a little to the left. Uh. And I know most of them are not really overtly religious, and there's probably a considerable amount of them that, that don't really buy into the existence of a magical man up there. That, that, that shirt is horrible, by the way. Angle. Yeah, the, the, sh the shirt is terrible, by the way, dude. This guy actually runs a few well-known channels. Yeah, out there. he does the uh, the music one. I can't remember it. Yep. It's actually pretty. What? It's actually a pretty good show when he's. Uh, Doing his music <laughs> breakdowns, I actually enjoy it. You know, I I gained a lot of respect for this guy because uh, <laughs> when when we were telling Ryan Wiley like, hey Ryan Wiley, why not just come on the show and talk to us instead yeah. of talking shit? He uh he left a comment in his comment section like, why don't you just come on the fucking podcast, you fucking wuss? <laughs> so I was like, well, we, we all know the answer. Ryan Wiley is a pussy. I don't like this guy. You want to have sex with him, TJ? I don't like him. You like him. TJ wants like to have him. sex with him all night long. The pin His drop? shirt angers me. Is that me. what it's called? It's yeah, called... something like that. Oh, what's Joker the camera angles. Needle drop. The needle drop. Needle like drop. A, like yeah. a record. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Shout out to the needle drop guy. Anyways. Drop. What's your question? Uh, 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 However, man. among this group of uh, uh, seemingly progressive people, there seems to persist the stereotype that atheists are all fat, hygienically challenged, fedora-wearing neckbeards. <laughs> well, TJ, you lost TJ, <laughs> TJ, you he is TJ. describing you, unfortunately. Yeah, He's you ruined <laughs> us. It's your <laughs> fault. Fucking like TJ, you, man. Fuck TJ. I, like you guys. Uh, ban TJ. Ban TJ. Ban TJ. No. Ban TJ. No. You're no longer an atheist. You're a theist now. No, Go hang out with Brett King and G-Man. You all exemplify that Brett shit the Stallion as much King. as I do. Lose your virginity again. Yeah, TJ. No. Lose your virginity to Brett King. While watching a video of yourself shoving a banana up your own ass. <laughs> Everyone's got a fucking neck beard here. Oh, I, no, I have the chin strap beard oh, going on right I now. I don't feel any. True, but you have the neck beard going on sometimes. Sometimes. Scotty has the neck beard going on. Yeah. Well, well, what? Right here? That's fucking shave, bitch. Hugo, but no lives and, and no girlfriends. <laughs> and I'm kind of wondering, uh, why does this stereotype persist? Not only in this group of people, but just in general. Because there are quite a few people who are atheists who those stereotypes don't apply to. Why is it that atheism has become so uh, uncool? Maybe it's cool to be... Well, he's asking it almost as if atheism was cool before, and then it's become something that's This uncool. guy well, is I, totally off base. I had I, a girlfriend on AOL for like five minutes one time. <laughs> so, this guy doesn't know shit. I'll tell you that much already. I went to a school where if you came out as an atheist, you would get expelled. Same that's thing with... Uh, expelled! Well, it was a, it was a Catholic school. So, oh, uh, but but it wasn't just being an atheist; it was being a communist or being uh, gay or anything like that. So and pretty much all oh, of you your hit all three of them. Man. Man. Yep, <laughs> you were the triple whammy. Yep. So exactly. why does this why does this persist? Do, do you think TJ, hey, T it's it's TJ's fault? <laughs> T TJ, yeah, do you think he wore me. do you think he wore a yellow shirt subconsciously because he knew he'd be talking to you and yellow is the color of the banana? Uh huh. -huh. So funny. <laughs> It's funny, like, talking about the banana, like, TJ kind of rolls his eyes, but, there, you know, it's, it'll never end. It, no, it's never going to end. That's your Ray Comfort <laughs> banana, you know. When I, uh, that's when that I was forever. In, Ray Comfort. When I was in Amsterdam a few years ago, I walked past these fuck theaters where people just kind of, like, fuck on stage, and there was a thing, there was, like, a schedule, and one of the, the acts was called the Banana Show. <laughs> TJ and wants you, to go. And you walked away? <laughs> I walked away, yeah. What the fuck, man? He somehow found the willpower to walk away. I thought oh, maybe well, TJ that's... was flying there every, oh, like, once yeah. a week. We don't know. Well, I mean, sometimes she d does disappear for a few days. Yeah. 
That's true. You want to comment on that, TJ? Uh, no comment at this oh, time. Oh, <laughs> if you live in the Netherlands, go to the Banana Show. You might see TJ. Yep. You might not. In the red light district. A closet atheist. But the moment you become like a proud card carrying what atheist, is... uh, I'm so angry you're at compared this... to this stereotype. You are likened to this stereotype. It's kind of what acid looks like, honestly. Stop it. Yeah. You are just sort of, uh, you, 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 your cool card is kind of revoked for, for, for a little bit. Uh, um, and again, like I said, I'm, I'm up there. <laughs> um, I don't really buy into that. And, 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 and I don't feel any of these nasty, disgusting. He's got pretty nice teeth. Yeah. <laughs> very His teeth are pretty straight. Yeah. Yeah. Stereotypes. Sorry. Uh, uh, apply to me. <laughs> he was wearing a fedora. So is this stereotype, is this image um, something that we should worry about? Something that we should try to clean up? Something that we should try to change? Something that we should uh, be active in combating? Mm. Let me know. You know right. I or think is it the... just merely enough to sort of have the idea, have the concept can we, can we of logic? <laughs> I'm just going to let side. it end, and then we can well, talk we about it. We're right, so you know, we don't need to worry about no stereotypes that make us look like, you know, not a good... What is he cool, on? Cool, I'm so shit. glad he edits his videos. I love the cocaine. <laughs> I'm I'd so... love to know your oh, opinion. Oh, I will in. take I, my I answer scream. off the air. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. It seems like he's being sarcastic, but yeah, I, I think, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it. When was it ever cool to be an atheist? Like, who was like, oh, I'm an atheist? Carl Sagan atheist. made it cool for like a minute. He was two thousand five. Some shit five and sports coats and people were like, yeah, I'd fuck him. <coughs> I just want to drizzle strawberry syrup on top of his bald head. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, some um, people can do the baldness very well. He pulls it yeah. off. I mean, yeah, he does. Know. He he's no Picard, but he pulls it off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jean Luc yeah, though is a wealth. He's just a you know knowledge every day. He'll teach Patrick you something. Patrick Stewart has remained like fifty five years old his whole life. Like I want to hang out with his, Patrick Stewart. Before when he was dead. in his thirties, when he first started Star Trek TNG, he looked like he was fifty five, and now <laughs> when he's in his seventies, he still looks fifty five. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like Steve Martin. He was like he was like sixty when he was like twenty. <laughs> exactly. He had like that that perfect like salt and pepper hair going on. Mm. So so what's the answer to the question though? Why is why is this supposed to be cool or not cool? Like just fuck it. I don't know. Like it doesn't uh, even matter. It, it's 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 such an irrelevant question. We don't even care if we're cool. It's just gibberish. It's I, like, what are you guys talking about? We started this show because we were wanted to be cool and accepted, well, you guys, accepted by the mainstream. You uh, guys are clearly cool, but you know we'll never be cool like you guys. So never. We've just given up on that pursuit. I get it. <laughs> yeah, you know. 